Uh, it's been it's been crazy, actually. Um, you know, just for many reasons. Obviously, you know, the opportunity to come play here, um, but just you know, just really re thinking about my story. You know, thinking about my journey um, in the process of getting here. So. Um, I've had some emotional days. I've had some days where I was able to just kind of sit there in peace and just kind of be still and think about, you know, everything that's just led up to this point. But um, it's been fun nonetheless and exciting, and uh, I'm just grateful for my opportunity. As a kid growing up in the Macomb area, that township, did you imagine yourself this could happen to you? All this, including the Super Bowl? Yeah. You know what, man? N no. You know, growing up, you know, coming from the inner city of Detroit, you know, you don't really know, you know, what's really out there. You have so many goals and so many dreams and admirations, um, but you don't really know anything is possible until it's happening, right? Um, and so, like I said, throughout the whole process, the way that everything just flowed, winning that Super Bowl, being able to play with guys um, in Tampa that you grow up watching on TV, um, you're playing with Hall of Famers and, and things like that, but you're able to learn so much and take so much away from them. Um, and then to be able to apply that in another situation to another team where you go and you're the vet, you know, you're not the young guy anymore, but you know, you're the old guy in the room. So, um, you know, everything just leading up to that, you never really know or, or picture it. You can only dream about it. And then when it happens, it's like surreal. And so for me right now, it's definitely a surreal moment. Um, and just having an opportunity, right. Having, um, a contract, like the one I had or just the opportunity that I have is just really, just grateful for it, humble for it, and um, excited for what's to come. You mentioned being the veteran in the room. You're coming to a team that right now you're you're the veteran in the room. Mm -hmm. Like everybody else is super young. Like how do you approach that? What does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, really just being a leader, right? You have to know how to lead, um, and you can lead them many different ways. And having younger guys, um, certain things that you can kind of tell them or talk to them about. Um, I can talk to them about the highs and lows of, of my career so far. Um, being a, a starting corner, um, being a player that's coming off the bench, being a Super Bowl champion, being a team that's three and whatever. But it's just, um, it's lessons, man. It's, it's really just, I think, embracing the fact that I am the vet and embracing what I have been through um, and just embracing the, the, just the type of player that I am and the person that I am. Um, that's one thing that's never really changed about me is, is always attacking the days and always attacking my opportunities. Um, at full throttle, right? And just being myself, um, being humble, being able to help guys and being able to pull guys along who may need it. And um, just adjusting to, to how guys, you know, react to certain situations. You don't feel over 26. Not at all. Okay, I feel, good. I feel young, man. I feel young. I, you know, I know I look young, right? But I feel <laughs> young. <laughs> I'm, I, see, look at that. <laughs> old guy, this guy. Nah, man, but absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a young old guy. I'm a young vet. Um, with a lot of experience in many different aspects, whether it's outside, uh, whether it's inside. So as far as feedback and aspects go, I'm, I'm able to, to apply it and help whoever needs that. Why, now, now that you got the whirlwind of part of the contract in the rear, you know, what are you excited most about? The scheme, coaching staff, players you're going to play alongside? Yeah, um, playing football first and foremost, right? Um, that's just one thing you don't really have to think about, right? Um, but yeah, scheme and everything, just being able, when I was upstairs, um, talking to the coaches and everything and, and going over what they, you know, expect from me and what they see in me, it's like, um, it's really just, it's, it's crazy, you know, because like I said, you go through so many different opportunities and, and so many different places. And I've only been to two places, so I'm, I'm not speaking on being a guy that's been bouncing around, but, um, you know, they see something in me that I see in myself, right? And it's like, it, it adds up, it, it, it resonates with me so well because everything that they preach and everything that they value, I have and that I do. Um, and so I'm looking forward to just being a piece that they can use and, and utilize in every way and, and really help me reach my ceiling because that's the ultimate goal. You mentioned that you were thinking back on your story, but what do you want your story to be with the Cardinals? The guy that they've been waiting for. You know, I want to be the guy that, you know, you can rely on and say he's going to handle that side of the field and we're okay there. You know, and that's just what it's going to be. I'm coming in, I work hard, I show up every day, um, but I'm the same guy. I always have a smile on my face. Um, well, not right now, because I'm being a little serious. I'm trying to be. <laughs> but, but, you know, I just, 
I'm just grateful, man. And, and I don't take things like that for granted. You know, I don't take um, the opportunity to be here um, for granted. I don't take the opportunity to play with the guys here that I'm going to play with um, because you can learn so much from everybody, right? I had an opportunity to talk to Kyler uh, when, I, when I got here. And that's, you know, we came out, I believe we came out the same year. And it's funny because I play these Madden drafts with my friends, right, all the time. And that's the guy I always draft. So it's like, coming full circle, it's like, and, you know, it was just cool to talk to him. And he's like, you ready to go? I'm like, you're absolutely right. You know, so just, just being around people that love the game just as much as I do, just goes a long way. Kind of see your strengths. I, I I know that you see yourself as being able to play all over the place. But do you, do you feel more comfortable on the outside? Do you feel more comfortable in the slot? Is there a place you'd rather be? Yeah, I mean, I I truthfully I feel comfortable on both, right? But I love being on the outside. I love being able to press a guy. I love being able to put my hands on guys, um, being physical, throwing and disrupting timing. Um, and I love making plays on the ball, whether that's intercepting the ball, whether that's forcing fumbles. Um, regardless, my job is to get the ball back to our offense. And so I just try to do that in every single aspect that I can, regardless of if I got to make a run fit and support the run and try to punch the ball out that way, or if it's a pass breakup, or if it's an interception, I'm always trying to attack the ball. And that's just the kind of guy that they're bringing in. You talk about the 2020 season with Bucks and that playoff stretch you had with the picks. Yeah. Seemingly every game, and, yeah. and then winning it with the old man. Yeah, <laughs> see, he can you call him old. You can't, <laughs> you can't call me old. Then if you call him, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that was just you know, first and foremost, you know, Coach Bowles was putting us in the position to be successful, right? He was allowing us to do the things that we did best, and that was to put our hands on these guys, to press them, um, but to make them earn it. And I think for me, um, it was just really a case of just doing everything and executing the right way. You know, I, I like I said, I've been a ball guy, ball hawk guy. Um, and so that was my job just to attack the ball and my confidence was at an all time high. You know, it was, it was like, we showed up every day working and we were all young. We were all excited to be able to play with Tom Brady, um, to have an opportunity to win a Super Bowl with Tom Brady. It was just like the way that things were adding up, it was like, how could we not, right? Um, but yeah, we showed up every day, worked every day and I wanted the ball. And so that's just was the, the, the goal in mind is to get the ball back okay. for our offense. Amazing. He was a leader, you know, in every aspect. He didn't really do too much rah-rah and talking. He was just a guy that showed up every day working. And so you, you see that every day and it just, it, you want to do the same thing. What kind of familiarity do you have with Buda Baker? Um, so, I mean, I, I don't really know Buda. I haven't really met him. Um, I know a couple of guys that have played with him in Washington. Um, but just obviously seeing his game, man, he's a freak of nature. He does things that, you know, he, he loves the game of football and it shows. Um, the little, he does, a, he's, he's extra athletic because I seen him do a little kick up flip from the ground. And it's funny because I, once I seen him do it, I tried to learn it and now I know how to do it. So now I can do it with him, right? Now I can do it with him. But yeah, he's a, he's a dog, man. He, uh, he's consistent. He shows up every day. He's a leader. Um, you can tell that he's, he cares, and, and he cares about not only himself, but the guys around him, so. How do you think you guys could complement each other on the field? Um, just obviously knowing the type of force that he brings um, and, and the way that he plays the game, I know that I can always rely on him to be where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there. So as a corner, um, obviously when you learn the defense and you know everyone's jobs and the responsibilities and you trust the guys that you're playing with, it makes your job easier because you know when you can jump certain routes, you know when you can play. Uh, to certain leverages just based on, you know, who you're playing with. And I know he's going to show up every every time. Sean, I think you had 70 tackles one year. What's something you to kind of take pride in getting takeaways and receptions, but also getting dirty and doing kind of the dirty work a lot of corners might not necessarily want to do? Yeah, just, just being a complete player, you know, just like I said, being a football guy, you know, um, most of the time teams assume that corners don't like to tackle or corners don't like to be there for run support. Um, but when they do show up, it changes the whole aspect and the dynamic of that defense and of the game. So um, any chance, like I said, that I can get to make a play, whether that's a TFL, whether that's a sack or whatever it is, any chance I get to make a play, I'm, I'm trying to make that play and I'm trying to let it be known that I'm willing to do whatever it takes for my team to win. So. Your first impressions of JG? Uh, he was, uh, he's, he's a character and I like him. You know, I like the way, I like his energy. It's infectious. Um, 
but he's just cool, man. He's down to earth. Um, and I can just tell just from our initial conversations that he cares about the players or he cares about, you know, cares about me. So um, I'm excited to play for him. I'm excited to uh, get to know him more. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's getting, and I texted Coach Rallis when he texted me, I said, you're getting exactly what you, what you think you're getting in me. And, and that's the honest to God truth. Have you had coaches as energetic as JG? Yeah, I, I've, obviously I don't know how energetic he is because I haven't been on a field with him, right? Um, but I've had, I've been also fortunate enough to play for some really good caliber coaches. Um, I really liked Mike Vrabel. He was a really good coach because um, he showed up every day consistent. I really liked Coach Bowles. He was a little different as far as, um, you know, energy and everything, but he was consistently himself and he was consistently confident in his players. Um, and same with Bruce Arians, and he was a different type of tradition coach as well, where he'll he'll rip you. Yeah, you know, he'll rip you a new one. But at the end of the day, you know that he really cares about you, and that um, you know you can you can run through a brick wall for a guy like that. So when you were younger, was there ever a point where you thought football might not be your long term future? When you say younger, I'm not <laughs> what what age are we talking? Nineteen eighteen. All right. 1960. Now, can you? Do I think football? Was there ever a point you, you didn't know if football was going to be in your long-term future? Were you, were you thinking about other things? Were you involved in other stuff? Um, so my whole, my whole life has been revolved around sports, and that's pretty much it, right? I, I think as a kid, I've always felt that I was going to be a professional athlete in some aspect. I just didn't know what sport because I played, all, I played basketball, I played football, I played baseball. Um, but, you know, there was never, ever any doubt in my mind because my faith is too strong for that. Um, and as well as my, my parents, the way that they raised me, the way that they, um, you know, taught me to go after my goals and things like that. But, um, no, there was never any doubt. I just, everything's all about timing and everything's all about um, just being consistent, man, and working hard and, and not getting down on yourself at any point. And I don't think I've ever done that, and I won't ever do it even leading forward. It's just... Um, like I said, timing and God's plan. Sean, did you spend any time in Arizona outside of previous games against the Cardinals? Or uh, no, actually, this is my first time really being here without you know playing against them. Um, I think when I was in fifth grade, I actually had a field trip here to the Grand Canyon. Don't really remember too much about it, but I do remember that I had a field trip <laughs> in the Grand Canyon. And so I wish I had some pictures to show you guys, and maybe my mom does, so I have to ask her. Um, but... I mean, I'm sure I can Photoshop something too. <laughs> and so we can figure it out regardless. But either way, you know, uh, yeah, no, this is really my, my first time, I would say. Y'all came all the way to the Grand Canyon? We did. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, it's, maybe I dreamt it. <laughs> but I think that it, I'm pretty sure it happened. I'm, I'm almost like 95% sure that it happened because I remember the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but I just don't remember if it, like, I don't have any pictures to prove it. So.